So f So f South Point So f So f Or just So f So hey guys, it's Ruby and today we are off strip. We are staying at South Point Hotel and Casino and we have booked a standard king. Let me show you around. So first things first. I'm pretty sure this is the largest standard room I have ever seen in a hotel. Not only is the square footage massive, but the ceilings are so tall, it's actually echoing in here. So we're on the 14th floor. Our view's decent. We do have like a lot of roof in our shot, but you can see the mountains and it's kind of pretty. You can see out into the desert. Not a terrible view. So right in the entertainment center, you do have a personal fridge. Who loves orange soap? There's a dining table and chairs. There's a desk. There's a seating area. You could fit an entire posse in here. Like I said, it almost doesn't feel like a hotel room. This place is so nice so far. We're really impressed. We continue to be impressed with the bathroom area. You do have a separate tub with toilet that you can close if someone else wants to get ready in here. The vanity area is massive, beautiful mirror, and um, coffee maker in the room. Always gets extra points. So Inside the closet, we did not find robes, but slippers! And they even say, please take these home. So you get yourself a little South Point slipper souvenir, complimentary. So when we checked in, we actually told the girl at the desk that we have never stayed here before. She gave us these huge coupon books and there are a lot of deals in here. I don't know if they give these to everybody or if you mention you've never been here before. We're gonna see how many of these coupons we can actually use today. There are multiple dining places we wanna stop at. There's entertainment here that's not just gambling. We're gonna go try out a few of those things and we also wanna go check out the pool and the casino. We have our hands full. We should get going. All right, we stopped to get ourselves some light lunch and we decided on Big Sur Oyster Bar. This is really popular in here. It's really busy and we're here for the what the shuck happy hour. They have half price oysters on the half shell. You guys know I love oysters. They also have other seafood options that you can get here for a really reasonable price during happy hour. Okay, got our oysters. I am so excited. So the special today, the oysters were $14 for a dozen and they did say they were a smaller variety of oysters. So we got those. They come with some sauces and some lemon. I'm gonna just do a little lemon on mine and then give it a shot. Bottoms up. Mm. Oh, they're super good. All right, finished up a light lunch over at Big Sur Oyster Bar. The oysters were incredible. We also talked to the chef for a while. Everyone in there was really nice. I definitely recommend it and I definitely will be back. I think we're gonna go to the pool now. Someone forgot their pool sandals. All right, we made it to the pool. This is actually a really nice pool area. It's a good size. This is a really big property, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It is pretty early in pool season, so it's not super warm out just yet. However, they do look like they have a really nice hot tub that I think I'm gonna check out. Do 
actually have a huge hot tub. This has got to be at least for like 20 people. And it's designed really cool. There's like a rock formation in the middle, so you kind of have like little private areas all around. It feels amazing right now, and you guys can just leave me here now. All right, we gotta go. That shower was intense and it was making some really funny noises. <laughs> Anyways, we have got redressed and it is still early afternoon. I think we are gonna check out the casino. really like the casino at South Point so far. I mean this in the best way, it's kind of 90s and the way that it's like a throwback. It's really like nostalgic, I like it. It's big and there's a lot of table games here. They have Pai Gao and they're really packed with people playing. All kinds of different slot variety here. Honestly, if you come to Vegas to gamble, I do think you would really like South Point. Just off the casino floor, you're gonna find a statue of Benny Binions, and he is standing in front of the Equestrian Center. So they actually have all kinds of horse shows here at South Point. They also have the bowling tournament area here. Bowling actually does sound like a lot of fun right now, though. So on top of the casino, they have bingo, they have a movie theater, and a full bowling alley. This is one of the biggest bowling alleys I've ever seen. I'm a very mediocre bowler. Mr. Ruby's pretty good. Maybe I'll beat him, we'll see. ending score. I got an 83, which isn't horrible for me, but I have bowled better. And Mr. Ruby bowled 143. So clearly we know who's the better bowler. We bowl all the time. We think it's a lot of fun. Time for dinner. All right, we're stopping for some dinner. We decided on Zenshin Asian because they also have a really great happy hour. So every day from two to six, and again from eight to close, the menu's extensive. There's a lot of like Asian food, sushis, some Americanized stuff. We totally forgot about our coupon book. We looked inside and they actually have a free Sapporo if you come to Zenshin Asian. So I got myself a free beer and we're gonna order a couple things off the menu. Okay, we ordered a few things off the happy hour menu. I had to get sushi, of course, it's my favorite. Mr. Ruby wanted to try something else, so we got the crispy garlic chicken, which is like a boneless fried chicken with like a chili soy sauce that sounds really good, and futakaki garlic fries. Futakaki seasoning is like a seaweed and sesame seasoning. It kind of gives like a sweet flavor. It's really awesome. Thank you. You're welcome finished up our dinner and honestly it was really good we liked all the food the service was excellent and really fast and everything was only around like $25 altogether so if you want to stop in there for a happy hour for a lighter dinner this is a really good option Stopped at the Catalina Island Bar. There are actually a lot of bars on the casino floor and that coupon book had a lot of free drinks in it. One was for a mixed drink. You could either take Pendleton Whiskey, Jose Cuervo, or Three Olives. Mr. Ruby loves a whiskey and 7-Up. 
And then I just got the free beer, a free bud. We're gonna have our drinks and maybe do a little more gambling and then call it a night and we'll see you guys all in the morning. Today I bring you a dramatic reading from the Book of Spice, chapter six, with interpretation. You guys are probably wondering why I'm awake at 5.23 in the morning. Coronado Cafe here at South Point does a late night special that runs from midnight to six in the morning, and you can get a really cheap breakfast. Does anybody else's husband get up this early? Okay guys, time for me to give you all my final thoughts on South Point. Let's start with the room. We paid $110 all together, including resort fees, taxes, for the standard room. It's called the Premium King, but that's just their like typical standard king. We have one big complaint, and that is the shower. It, this pressure was like crazy, and there was an automatic fan that would go off that would like blow the curtain all over the place. It was not a pleasant shower. I actually ended up taking a bath because other than the shower, the room is great and it would get five stars from me besides that because I did like having our own fridge. It's huge. This is such a big room and the bed was comfortable. A lot of great lighting in here, so no complaints other than that. And I do think the price is really fair. Dining is cool here. There were 13 or something restaurants to choose from. It was actually kind of hard to decide where to eat. They have fine dining, they have Italian, they have Mexican, they have everything. They have one of our favorite buffets here and everything's really reasonably priced. There's happy hour deals running all day long. There's $1.50 hot dogs on the casino floor. I'm overall like really impressed with all the amenities here. I now think I would recommend this one for families a lot because of the bowling alley, having a movie theater in here. There's things that kids could be doing while the older people were gambling here and I think everybody would have a nice vacation. I think if you've come to Vegas a lot and you wanna try a new property, this property is really nice. I just feel overall they upkeep this casino amazing. Our room feels brand new, incredibly clean. Nothing is old or dingy and the whole casino reflects that. It is so well taken care of. I did really enjoy our stay here. I would come back and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Make sure you don't miss my next one. I hope to see you all there.